We are. The Honorable Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Debt is the trap that has caught so many struggling governments. Debt has proven the death of countless dreams. I love that quote, Mr. Speaker. Those words stand as a stark warning to governments to think that borrowing is the way to prosperity. And those words should be etched into the collective minds of governments that think deficit financing is a wise choice. This is good advice that Alberta would do well to follow. Does the finance minister agree? Well, Mr. Speaker, of course I do. Um, the, the ability for us to use all of the tools that are available to us is sound financial management, Mr. Speaker. It's responsible financial management. That's what Albertans elected us to do for them, is to be responsible managers of their finances. Debt is one piece or one tool in the toolbox, no different than P3s, no different than cash. Mr. Speaker, it's no different than deferring it to a future date when it will cost more. That's a tool that we can use too, Mr. Speaker. We're not saying we're going to use one to the exclusion of any other. We're going to use the entire toolbox, Mr. Speaker. I believe. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm sure the finance minister didn't actually hear the quote, so I'll read it again. Debt is the trap that has caught so many struggling governments. Debt has proven the death of countless dreams. And I quote that because it was spoken in this assembly, Mr. Speaker, in October of last year by this Premier. Why won't the Finance Minister heed the Premier's warning? Mr. Speaker, we have a Financial Management Act in this province that precludes the Minister of Finance from borrowing for operating, and we intend to adhere to that Financial Management Act and that piece of, the, of, the, uh, of, that, of that act, Mr. Speaker. The, the fact that we will not borrow to cover our operating, any operating deficit is clear. We will balance our budget, Mr. Speaker. We will have a savings plan, and we will have a capital plan. Mr. Speaker, there is, um, there is no doubt in my mind that the world economy is, is suffering, that uh, Canada, in fact, the federal government has deferred the, their balancing by another year. We will use all the tools necessary to provide Albert. Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, capital debt is still debt. Roads and schools are the basics. We should look after these needs out of our regular spending. But this government has made too many unsustainable promises and now insists that it has to borrow for what should be regular upkeep. upkeep. Why can't the finance minister prioritize and budget better than this? You know, Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member has a school recently completed in her riding. That school was built using a P3 model, Mr. Speaker. It certainly shows the financial illiteracy of the other side when they can't see that P3s is a financial commitment of the people of Alberta for 30 plus years, Mr. Speaker, similar to any debt instrument that we might issue. The reason we use the P3, Mr. Speaker, is because it's a right, a sound, responsible financial management decision to use. It provides the assets for Albertans today and for tomorrow. It's not a money in the mattress mentality, Mr. Speaker. It's sound financial management. Honorable.